Lord knows I am constantly pushing against the wonderful guidance on the inside. I don't know. I don't know if anybody else like tunes into this either, but like when my higher self talks, it's literally only about like peace and bliss and harmony, (laughs) rest, be forgiveness, you know? Like, I don't know how you would think like, I was like, just let me just like buckle up with like my higher self all the time. Like that's exactly how I want to live. And yet it is crazy how we just, at least me, like we just want to be like, no, no, no. let me suffer through this. (laughs) Let me do that. And like, we don't have to, we can flow. This is Life with Cat Walsh. What's up, everyone? Welcome back. This is Kat. This episode is about flow. And true to the name, I am just going to be flowing in this episode. I have no idea exactly where I want to go with this. But um, yeah, it's something that's been coming through quite a bit from my uh, higher guidance. And it's something that just wanted to come through today which kind of brings me to what this idea of flow even is. So to take a step back, I have never been like a go with the flow person when it comes to things like, I don't know, work or responsibilities or just, I don't know, like like when it comes to relationships and like friendships, like, yeah, I guess I would say it was like more go with the flow with like plans. I wasn't just like, I can't do that or anything like that. But when it comes to really, I'm going to focus on like work stuff right now. I was not go with the flow at all. As a matter of fact, I didn't even understand what that meant. At least in the context that I'm being, what it feels like is trained right now. And so when I talk about this, you guys, it's it's uh, it's not a natural feeling for me. It's been very challenging to understand and to actually be in flow and understand what that, what that really is. And so what flow has been essentially told to me by my higher self and my guides is just checking in at every moment with yourself and doing what is actually in line with what it is that you're doing. Okay. So what do I mean by that? For me, as somebody who used to be, I used to work in advertising. I was a project manager. I was in in, in account management. I did tons of things where like I was always like very scheduled and planned and planned ahead. And um, yeah, it was just, you know, one, it was part of the job, but also it was part of my way to mitigate fear of the future, right? It was a way to plan as much as I could against possible things that could go wrong, which is actually literally what that job is, is like figure out all the things that can go wrong and then (laughs) start creating like backup plans. And so while that's great in business and it's a good, um, you know, it's, it's, it's good to have backup plans. It's also not at all living with the flow of how everything is going. And so I was, I, as many of you may know, if you've listened to some of the earlier episodes is that I have another podcast called trip on this. And the way that I started trip on this was like very much in, you know, I've got to like do this on this exact date. I have to get this done. It didn't matter how tired I was. It didn't matter if there was no energy that day to do anything. It didn't matter. Um, anything like I said that I was going to do this goal on this day. Therefore I met it. Okay. That vibe is first of all, such an old, you know what that reminds me of is like a, um, a, a masculine energy, like a toxic masculine energy. And I'm not saying that as like a male or female, but just the masculine inside, uh, that, that part of our ego with the whip is to me a, a really unbalanced masculine. And this is something that I'm personally like still healing in myself because I always, basically like held the whip to myself in um, pushing through tiredness. If I was just exhausted, I'd just drink more coffee. At one point, I literally, uh, all of my adrenals were shot. I used to work at a large talent agency and the amount of Adderall and coffee I was drinking and everything and my whole body was just burning out. Had I been in flow, 
Had I been listening to my body, listening to myself in every moment, there's no way that could have ever happened. There's no way. And by the way, I always think about hindsight. Like, had I actually been in flow at an agency perspective, like, could it have worked? You know, was it, was, was flow even invited into a world like that? And you know, that might be in for another topic, but right now, you know, I'm working on obviously building this podcast and certainly trip on this, my psychedelic podcast. And I've been getting, uh, the message every day that I need to check in every morning and ask myself, what do you want to do today? No planning basically is what I'm being asked. No planning in every moment. I'm being asked to check in with my higher self and say, what should we be doing? What am I supposed to be doing right now? Now I want to say is sometimes the message is now's a good time to plan. Oh, okay, great. Sick. (laughs) You know me, girl loves a plan. So then I'm like, okay, so there's flow right now. I'm being, I'm being guided to begin to create a plan. But the guidance that comes with it, at least for myself is, but hold that plan lightly. That plan is apt to change. It's a, it's, think of it as more of like a foundation, right? A container that you're creating for yourself that's malleable. It's a malleable uh, container that at any moment can change and be willing to change. That's the other thing is like, once you kind of get fixed, or at least when I kind of, by the way, if I just keep saying you, I just, this is how I story tell. So just know that you is me <laughs> literally. And you know, uh, spiritually or whatever, <laughs> metaphysically, we are the same. But, uh, anyway, the, the message again was just follow the energy, follow the flow. Life doesn't have to be hard is the message. Life never has to be hard is the message. You can accept and be at ease in every moment, but that requires a tuning in, right? How do I feel? Am I tired? Do I need to stop? You know, there's so many times that I'm like editing and this and that, but like, I get that feeling. I'm like, I need to get it. I need to get some air. I need to get a, I need to get some fresh air. Then my ego mind's like, no, I mean, you got to get this done by like this time. And like you said, you want to get to this editor. This is why I'm blah, blah, blah. And now what I'm being tasked with is no cat. Nothing is more important than the fact that you need air. That came up for a reason. That thought arose for a reason for you to listen, for you to listen. And what I'm, what I'm really being guided on is that the more that I listen, not only does everything always get done, by the way, it always gets done, but it actually gets done with a sense of peace and ease when I listen, of course, (laughs) because Lord knows I am constantly pushing against the wonderful guidance on the inside. I don't know. I don't know if anybody else like tunes into this either, but like when my higher self talks, it's literally only about like peace and bliss and harmony, <laughs> rest, be forgiveness, you know, like, I don't know how you would think like, I was like, just let me just like buckle up with like my higher self all the time. Like that's exactly how I want to live. And yet it is crazy how we just, at least me, like we just want to be like, no, 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 let me suffer through this. <laughs> let me do that. And like, we don't have to, we can flow. And this is just bringing up another point. The, you know, the, the phrase go with the flow, right? You know, for so long, I think this has been also a little bit misused. And here's how I'm thinking about that word. So if you're, say you're with friends, right? Or you're with a friend and you're always just going with the flow, right? I'm going to put that in quotes because you don't want to ruffle feathers because you don't want to feel high maintenance because you rather not get into it because your other friends more willful than you are. And she's going to win or he's going to win want to doing what they're going to do. And so you just go with it. Right. To me, that is not flow, right? There's actually resistance in you. And I'm, I've done this like many times in my life where I'm actually not being honest with myself. I actually don't want to do that. You know, like, and sometimes I might just be like, you know, if, if it's kind of like hit or miss or like, yeah, maybe, you know, maybe that's fine. Like, okay. But if I really don't want to do something, if I really don't want to, 
uh, do that plan or whatever. And I'm just like going with it because I don't want to like rock the boat. That to me is not going with the flow. Your flow, my flow is honoring what we really need in that moment. What do we really need in every moment? And I think this is like a perfect way to like come back full circle is flow is about trust, trust. And what do you need? Listening, listening to yourself in every moment. Do I need a nap? You know, I know I got a deadline. So what do I need 15 minutes? Do I need it? And honoring it and trusting that I, you can take it. I mean, this is what I'm learning. You know, I, I, I didn't, actually have any intention of creating this episode about flow. Uh, my quote unquote plan, my plan today was I'm going to edit an episode for Trip on This. And by the way, I'm still doing that. But this morning there was a n- new energy that I wasn't, a- oh, I was just kind of like popping in. And it was kind of like, you should get ready today. Why don't you put some makeup on today? And I was like, oh, okay. Not quite knowing. I tried to ask <laughs> funny I tried to ask in the moment like oh do you want me to record something and it it literally because it's like my higher self is also teaching me about ultimate presence which is also very tied in right to trusting in every moment ultimate presence it wasn't even allowing me to know if I was going to be recording today until it was time for that message of okay yeah you're actually going to record today and it's going to be about flow (laughs) <laughs> you know, but it was leading me. And so it was like, okay, you should, maybe you should put on some makeup, you know, maybe like, and I was like, okay, so I got and kind of got in the possibility. I was like, okay, so maybe I'm going to record today. I don't know. Maybe I'm going to record, or maybe I just, I'm just embodying what it feels to be ready, ready to record if inspiration hits. So either way, there's kind of a, a vibe of readiness happening. Okay. And then boom, I'm making a shake. (laughs) I was just kind of like finishing up like kind of an afternoon or a a morning snack. And it was like, yeah, actually, now would be a wonderful time to talk about flow. This actually would be a great time because you're learning it right now. You're actually living. You're living it right now. You're trusting uh, the guidance right now in every moment. And so that is, to me, how we can all um, can, can think about flow How to cultivate flow in every moment to me is just pure awareness. It's just awareness. And then being being willing to trust the awareness. You know, I think it's really about life doesn't have to be so hard. (sighs) I'm trying to unwind that one big time. Life doesn't have to be so hard. (sighs) If anything, I think it's all about ease. You know, there's going to be things that happen. Oh my God. Okay. Sorry. One more story. I know I didn't want to make this episode too long, but my one more story is I was actually going to record once I got the message of like, oh yeah, you should record about flow today. I was like, all right. I was kind of getting ready. I was wanting to do like right when I got it, (laughs) right when I got the message, you know, and the, there were, uh, there's construction happening suddenly in my building and I found myself getting like (laughs) irritated because I wanted to record, you know, like I just got this message about flow and now, now there's outside noise. And as I'm like (laughs) resisting what is, right? It's just what is like, this is what's happening. I was just resisting it and like getting all like uptight about the fact that I wanted to record right away (laughs) and like, but it wasn't in flow. And so I finally, I thankfully, I think it was all like a little bit of a cosmic joke because I started to laugh and was like, Kat, it's not in flow, girl. You can't. So why are you, why are you um, creating angst in yourself about just what is? These people are down here doing their job, <laughs> you know, <laughs> they're just down here doing their job. And okay, so what, they're interrupting you, girl? This doesn't revolve around you. Go with the flow, Go with the flow. Your higher self didn't say drop everything and make every, everybody in the world now like work around you. No, you'll know when it works. And by the way, right now it's dead silent. It's three hours later, I had a nice lunch and I feel great. And so I'm just, it's just like, again, that trust like, oh yeah, it's not when you want it when you want it. It's when it feels right. It's when it actually flows easily. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. There's one more point. Sorry. This is flow, right? This is like flow as it's coming through. This also reminds me of making plans. Okay. So, or goals. Sorry. It's about really making goals, right? So it's, of course, it's great to make goals. 
you know, it's great. We've always been, we've always been taught like make goals so you can hit them and blah, blah, blah. And like, yes. Okay. And I think this is a yes. And as long as there's no rigidity, right. In the goals, the truth is you making a goal, right. In January, who you are in July, what's happened, what's transpired over this amount of time, what new knowledge you've received at this point, what, uh, what new revelations have come to you at this point may have severely altered what the goal is. And so to me, it's really about like goals or guidelines again. You know, this t- life is not stagnant. And I understand, like, I'm not, look, I'm not talking about, like, moving the goalposts, but in a way, like, I don't mean it in a, in a in an excuse way, but I mean it in a flow way. Perhaps the goal was meant to be malleable. Perhaps the goal shifts energetically as we shift. It's not fixed if we're not fixed, right? We're not fixed. We don't want to be fixed. We're not fixed, right? No, none of life is fixed. And so to me, there's like um, a, a willingness to try new things or to try a new plan or to maybe, maybe the goal is still there, but the way in which you want to reach that goal needs to change. If you're trying something over and over and over again, and you get, you're starting to get roadblocks, there is a reason, right? I had this happen on, cause I have got a, a t-shirt um, uh, clothing line. I have a design that I tried to get printed three different times and all three different times I got blocked. The, the, the print didn't look good three different times. There was like issues going on with some of it, like every different time. And then by the third time I was like, cat, this is a sign. The universe is trying to protect you now. The universe is trying to protect you. This design for whatever reason, it's saying, don't go with it right now. Don't go with it. Look, your finances, you need to be smart right now with how you spend your money. And everything about this project is getting blocked. Listen, I know you want it. I know you want it. You really want it. You really believe in it. But there's the, the universe is putting roadblocks in. And so instead of just not listening, you know, instead of just not listening to the roadblock, say, okay, well, I'm bummed because I really wanted to create that photo or that picture or that t-shirt but maybe sorry there's a helicopter flying by over um maybe it's either not supposed to be done or it's not supposed to be done right now and that's the key right it's either about timing maybe it's not the right time throw it on pause or maybe the way in which you're going about your goal is uh needs to be changed right the ego is like no no stick to the plan you're like but why If you're checking in with your higher self every day, asking, how should I proceed today? What should I be doing today? How do I get closer to my goal today? Asking those questions and allowing yourself to be guided every day instead of thinking you got it. Oh my God, right? What a leg up. And by the way, I'm saying you as if I'm like, I'm learning. This is all just coming through me right now because it's just, it's the lesson that I need to learn. It's the lesson that I need to learn. And that's why I think my... I'm being asked to share it is because I think this is something that we all, um, it's, it's actually simple. It's a simplicity that we can do. It's really just what, what I want to be doing in the moment and asking questions. What's the best way to, um, yeah, like help me with my goals today. If you, if you, if you do have goals and allow for the magnificent, uh, creative intelligence of the universe to guide you there instead of thinking like you got it because like do any of us got it I definitely do not so anyway that's my message about flow I hope this flowed (laughs) and uh I'll see you guys again soon thanks for listening I hope you enjoyed that episode my goal with a lot of these episodes is to make these big spiritual concepts more grounded and more practical and more step-by-step. And so I hope that these tips are helpful for you in your day-to-day life. They've certainly been, I'm just basically on this podcast sharing what helps me. 
And if it helps me, I figured it's got to help at least a few of you out there. And so I'm going to continue to share uh, practically speaking, right? So if you are enjoying this podcast, of course, be sure to subscribe on whatever platform you like to watch it, YouTube, iTunes, Spotify, you name it. And of course, rate and comment. It is so helpful for me to grow this podcast. It truly is currency. That is how it is found through searchability. So if you are moved by this content, if you're enjoying it, I would ask that you consider giving it a thumbs up, giving it a comment, send it to a friend, help your girl out. Thank you all so much again. This is Life with Cat Walsh.